hey guys welcome once again to my channel in today's video we're going to be making coconut rice with dry fish so i'm starting by adding my onions uh, oil <laughs> with my onions and i'm going to let this fry until it's transparent by the way my name is oge and i'm reaching from abuja nigeria i make videos on healthy living budgeting and great recipes if you've not subscribed please join this amazing family but if you're already subscribed thank you for your love and support I'm adding curry masala and this is a combination of turmeric, thyme, uh, bay leaf and a couple more other fragrant spices that is really good. I'm adding about half um, half tablespoon or one teaspoon and then mix spices about one teaspoon. But if you're cooking less, you can add a little less. This is lasso chicken spices. I just like it. Yes, I'm adding that even I'm using even if I'm using dry fish, yes, because I like the fragrance and the flavor that it gives. I'm adding two cubes of season and four seasoning cubes because I'm cooking four cups of rice. And then here I have my yellow pepper and crayfish mixed together. I'm adding extra crayfish because I want it to really, really be um the crayfish flavor. To will come out very well so i'm going to allow this fry once again fry very well until all the aroma is out and then i'm going to add my dry fish this is already deboned and washed and i just want to fry it to bring out the flavor uh, so that it would um, the flavor will be more enhanced by doing this uh, process so it's just to stir a little bit and then allow to cook at this point if you want to cover it to steam very well you can you're free to do so it's it will help you to so in i'm pouring my coconut milk this is already canned, this is canned coconut milk and I'm rinsing to get all the juice out. You can also use your coconut, I mean normal, co regular coconut and extract the juice. This makes my the process very fast for me, so I'm just using the coconut milk. The coconut milk is more natural, I mean the natural coconut milk is of course more natural, but this makes it easier. So I've allowed the water to boil and then I'm adding my rice. This is how simple it is to make your coconut rice. Yes, and I'm adding, this rice has already been parboiled. And this part we are doing is just the finishing stage, which we are just going to allow to cook with just enough water to allow it to cook because at this stage, you're not the water is not what cooks the rice. It's really the steam. Yeah, although the parboiling was just, the rice was barely half done. So at this stage, I'm going to taste for salt and taste for any other um, spices I need to add to make sure that everything goes well. Man, this rice was yummy and delicious at the same time. I'm adding also some pepper and crayfish mix and then a little bit more salt to finish it off. And then I'm tiffing one of the fishes. Mm. I'm going to let this cook and then allow all the steam and everything to cook the rice and this rice is done i mean that is how done it is i didn't put any tomatoes because usually <laughs> the rules and the regulation i don't know who made it though they don't put um tomatoes in um, coconut rice because we like to do healthy stuff around here we don't just eat our rice like that without any form of vegetables so we're adding our sliced cucumber tomatoes onions and we're using it to decorate our rice so that it's help us encourage us to eat it and that's it guys for this video 
i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and then share with your friends i will see you guys in another video until then enjoy